worthy ones. Are you tired of negative people destroying your self-confidence? You probably working so hard to develop your self-confidence over the years, and you got these negative people, they're always saying something to try to bring you down. Or maybe you somebody, you're thinking about doing something that you know can elevate your self-confidence, but because of negative people, you're not taking action. What's up, it's Gene, this word to be great. Today I want to talk to you about shielding your self-confidence from negativity because you have to realize self-confidence is everything. If you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe in the abilities that you have, there's no way you can realize a goal or a dream of your life. You see, self-confidence is something that people will envy. They will get jealous of. And if you don't shield it, then it will give people the opportunity to destroy it. You see, within our body, our human heart is the life blood or the life system of our entire existence. If our heart wasn't protected, it'll be exposed to so many things that can destroy. You see, right before your heart is what's called the sternum. That's our breastbone. And its job is to protect our heart, to protect our life system. And see, just like the sternum protect our heart, you have to do everything to just shield your self-confidence because that self-confidence is the life of your dream. It's the life of your goals. And if you do not shield it from negativity, you're giving people the opportunity to destroy it. So I want to talk to you about two types of people that you have to be very, very careful of so you can shield that self-confidence so that negativity cannot destroy it. The first ones what I want to call are conscious haters. Now, these may be family members. These may be friends. They know exactly what they're doing. They see you confident. They see you going after your dream. And so they become envious and jealous. So what they will try to do is slowly but surely to kill your self-confidence if you allow them to do so. I remember I met this lady a long time ago, right? That's when I first started speaking. And I was so excited. And I didn't know at the time the how dangerous it is to tell people your dreams. So one day I was talking to this lady. She was a lot older than me. And I said, I have a dream of being a motivational speaker. I'm taking action. I'm in all of these speech clubs. And she looked at me and she said, you know, that's always been my dream. I've always wanted to be a speaker as well, but I didn't ever act on it. So she said, are you out there speaking? Have you got paid to do it? I said, actually, I have. I just got my first paid event. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to the next one. And then she said something that was very, very interesting. She said, you know, I've seen you speak and you've seen me speak. We both know I'm a better speaker than you. So I think that you should bring me along to your speaking engagements and let me speak before you get the crowd ready. And then you can go up and finish it from there. And I looked at her and I said, why would I take you to my speaking engagements to speak before me when they paying me to do so? And no, you're not a better speaker than me. I don't know what, what, what put that in your mind. And I will not be invited to do anything. If you want to go do an engagement, you do the hustle, you do the marketing. You make the videos, you do whatever you have to do to make it happen for yourself. You see, this lady, she was somebody that was trying to destroy my self-confidence. And what she was trying to do in the way is try to belittle me by telling me that I was beneath her. And so you're going to have people like that in your life as well. They're going to try to belittle you. They're going to try to tell you that you're not significant. You don't have a gift. You're not good at what you do. And that's their attempt to try to suppress your self-confidence because they don't feel good about themselves. They don't have the confidence you have. Then because they don't have that confidence, they want to try to destroy yours. So you have to make sure that you shield your self-confidence from a person like this. And the best way to do so is to distance yourself from this type of person, the second person that's a hater, and that's the unconscious hater. Now, you may see these people online all the time, right? They're the trolls. These are the people who hide themselves. They try to, they try to hide the fact that they're a hater. But the truth is, they've been doing it for so long that they subconsciously do it. And they don't even realize how much hate they're actually doing. I remember another guy I met. Uh, I was in this speech club right now. I, I was talking to him, and this was like several years later, and I still hadn't learned my lesson by keeping my mouth closed. So I told this individual, I said, man, I'm out there speaking. You know, I want to be a great speaker and all these different things. And, and I was telling him all the things I want to do. And this guy looked at me. He said, you know, that sounds great, man. And I'm in the speech club, too, because I want to be able to be paid to speak like that. But I live in reality. And what you're talking about is not real. That's not reality. The chance of you going out there and getting speaking engagement like that is like trying to go to the NBA. It's almost impossible. So you just waste your time doing that. The best thing you should do is keep on elevating your skills in the speech club. Go out there and get you a job and then elevate within that corporation. You see, what I realized at that moment, that individual was doing something called projection. 
and projection is when somebody take their limitations and project them onto you. They tell you can't do certain things because they don't believe they can do it. They'll tell you that things are not gonna work out for you because they don't believe it's gonna work out for them. And what that person was doing is projecting his limitations on me and he had been doing it obviously for so long that he was unconsciously doing it. And you're gonna deal with these type of people, man. They're gonna be trying to tell you what you cannot do. They're gonna project their limitations on you. And if you don't shield your self-confidence and you allow those projections to get inside your head and your heart, it's gonna cause you to lose that self-confidence and therefore give up on your dream. So when you're dealing with a person like that, it's very important that you speak up for yourself and you speak up for your dream. And the reason you're doing this is because by speaking up, you're putting up your shield and you're allowing that person's projections to reflect off that shield back onto them. You see, the last thing you want somebody to do is to tell you what you cannot do and continue to do so, and you just stand there and you just take it. You have to speak up for yourself. You have to speak up for your dream. You have to shield yourself from confidence from other people's negativity. That dream that was given to you was given to you for a reason. God bless you with that, or the universe, or whatever you believe, because that dream is your responsibility to bring to a reality. And you cannot do that if you don't have self-confidence, if you don't believe in yourself, if you don't believe in your dreams, if you don't believe in your abilities, because without self-confidence, there's no way you would take the actions necessary to make your goals and your dreams become a reality. So I wanna encourage you to shield your self-confidence from negativity because you are worthy to be great.